Hello beautiful Virgos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. You are here today to see if it is a flame or the real thing. Orphaned is the first overall energy card. We're doing a deep dive into your person's thoughts, feelings, and intentions as well as actions. No place like home. Ooh, they feel like when they're not with you, they are very lonely without you, Virgo. Your person really is very attached. We have peace. So your person really wants peacefulness, happiness, but I do feel as though they're feeling very much left in the cold. Orphaned. So I don't know if you've had an argument or what's going on, but we're going to dig in. So we're going to look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions with you at this time. Let's see. Let's try to straighten that out a little bit for you. There we go. Okay. So we're going to put thoughts, first of all. They are thinking that you are not talking to them. Eight of Swords, they notice that you've gone silent or quiet. They feel very helpless. The Eight of Swords energy is Gemini energy. It says that, they, you know, they're really thinking that they need help from Spirit. The Seven of Wands, they think that you are, you've put a wall up between the two of you. They feel as though they want to break through. Again, there's sort of an openness here, but your person is in a state, I think, of worry. Okay, what else are they thinking? And that is Seven of Wands is Leo energy. Eight of Cups. So their thoughts are that you've really walked away from them. You have orphaned them. They feel very, a sense of loss, a tremendous sense of loss here. So in their feelings, the King of Wands, they have fiery passion for you. They want to, you know, have all of the good things that they have to do with romance. They want to have fun. They want to go out. They want to make love. They want to chat. They want all of that beautiful, passionate energy that you bring to the table. That's how they're feeling. They're feeling very fire, fired up. They may have Leo energy. And we have the Fool card. So in their heart space, they feel foolish, quite literally, because they definitely feel as though they didn't see the reality of the situation with you. They feel as though they were foolish at the beginning. Perhaps, maybe, they, they were looking at the beautiful flower that they see as Virgo without seeing a lot more information that they needed to have in the connection. They're feeling very, very drawn to you. They still love you. This person feels as though they will love you forever, that you are maybe the one that got away, that this Leo energy really speaks to the strength, the patience, the endurance that they have for this relationship. They would love to begin with you again. They would love to have a new beginning. Their intention their intention is to love you really deeply, to love you unconditionally, to love you forever. Also, to the Nine of Pentacles, they're, they're working very hard at bringing their own life. Virgo, that's your energy. So their intention is to uh, try to become more attractive to you, to look good, feel good, to present themselves in a way that you will find very attractive. And we have Judgment Card. So that really is the action or the intention that they want to try to discern what's going on so they know what action to take. So judgment is all about sizing things up, but they are going to release something. So we'll see what their intention is, what they intend to release, whether it's the relationship, whether it's a behavior or pattern, whatever. So let's see what their action is. Wow. All right. Well, I didn't expect this one. The Nine of Wands is, look at me, look at me. <laughs> I'm jumping through hoops of fire for you, Virgo. They're definitely trying to get your attention. They're doing it in a very fiery, passionate way. The Knight of Wands, it looks as though they're going to do whatever they have to. They might buy a red dress or a red shirt. It looks as though they are going to try to kickstart the passion in the relationship. So what? Uh, that's their action. The Ace of Cups, they, they are going to try to initiate a new uh, beginning in love with you. 
Uh, it looks as though they're going to shower you in some way with some sort of affection, perhaps a gift. And we have Queen of Pentacles energy. I do like this as a stabilizing factor. The Queen of Pentacles energy is a Capricorn queen. So your person is very down to earth. You know, they're very much in love with you. They're very, uh, this person's a rock solid person. It looks as though I would say their judgment indicates that if they can't have a sound new beginning with you, that uh, they might just take passion if that's what you want. But I also see your person may also release the relationship. If they feel that they can't have a productive, happy relationship with you, the Capricorn Queen is all about stability and nurturance and taking care of business. So what we see here is your person feels very um, agitated, disconcerted, uneasy about the status of the relationship. You know, they definitely want to feel at home with you again. They base, they want a lot of happiness and peace in this connection. So let's look and see, Virgo, what the uh, clarifiers are for the reading. So we have the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here for their thoughts? Why are they all caught up in their head? They're not taking action towards you. They're definitely thinking about it, though. They feel quite defensive. They feel as though they have fire in their belly for the relationship, but they don't know what to do. So we have self-imposed restriction because they don't really know what to do. So they're not going to do anything. This, you know, this person feels as though they, they're invoking the spirit of their guardian angels to help, but they don't have the answer and it looks like they're not going to take any action until they know something more about where you're at in your headspace and in your intentions. What do we have here for the, why is the Seven of Wands here? They feel as though you're at a point where you may cut them out of your life, or they're manifesting you also, but the Two of Wands is here. They feel as though they're trying to manifest you. At the end of the day, they don't know if you're going to choose them, and it makes them feel very imprisoned. So when we look at the Eight of Cups, your person feels, thinks that you've walked away from them. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, though, is you, as well as the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. So it's interesting because I don't think that there was any kind of an official breakup or statement that you made, but they take your, your self-imposed restriction, the fact that you've d definitely put a wall up, they, they, they do feel as though they view it as you walking away, but they're hopeful that the Wheel of Fortune will bring you back around to them. That, you know, maybe this is work-related. It looks as though perhaps you told them that you've been really slammed with work. Why is the King of Wands here for their energy? They really want to have this very passionate, energetic beginning with you again. New beginning, we get the Sun card. You make them happy. They love it. They love you. They love the connection. We see a lot of love and passion here. Your person is um, very much going to work towards the energy of a new um, beginning with you. They're definitely trying to feed a new beginning, trying to line it up uh, spiritually with you. The temperance card, they're going to have all the patience in the world in terms of their heart space and dealing with you. They really do feel as though you are their best friend, but they also think that you, you have other people you see, you have other people that you spend time with. So they don't think that they have your undivided attention. And we see that they're, they're also thinking that, you know, they, they feel as though you might have ended the relationship, but you're not really being very direct in telling them. So when we get the clarifier for the Queen of Cups, this is their intention. They really want to attract you back into their life. Again, a card with love, woo you with love, trying to recreate or reinitiate uh, a rebirth of the relationship. Their intention is to uh, maybe try to work with you. The Eight of Cups says that uh, they, they just love being around you. You know, we get a lot of love sprinkled through this. When I look at their, their initial thoughts, there's a lot of fear. Their feelings, there's a lot of passion and desire um, and still some fear. 
Uh, it's interesting that their intentions actually are to it show you the love that they may not have shown you. They may feel as though you didn't feel that you that they loved you enough. They definitely feel as though they have the intention to try to bring a conclusion to whatever thoughts or worries that they have. They definitely want a new beginning. They're, they're making the decision to initiate that. So it does show that the judgment card indicates that for some of you, they may be waiting for divorce or for marriage, but there is some sort of decision that your person will make with whom it resonates, you know, however it resonates for each person, about having a committed relationship. Your person wants to, intends to try to have that with you. When we look at their actual actions, we're seeing them sort of being a bit of a show-off here. This energy of the Knight of Wands is all, look at me, look at me, I'm all about the passion. So it's interesting. Now, interestingly enough, they're going to present themselves as a bit of a wild child here, and yet it's very strategic. So your person feels as though in their actions, if they are willing to be playful and sexy and uh, not so serious, that, it may, that they may be able to use their logic to win you back. When we get the Ace of Cups, it is clarified they want a new beginning in love again. They are going to initiate. Whether you accept or not will be up to you, Virgo. Um, but that's what we see. We get the Queen of Cups again with the Queen of Pentacles. So they, you, they may think that they're in a third-party situation. They may actually be in a third-party situation with you, Virgo. You're going to know that. I'm not necessarily going to know that. But again, third parties can be second jobs or, you know, lots of other things, but it, it can quite literally be a triangle, a love triangle. So let's see why we have the orphaned card here for our beautiful Virgo friends. Let's see. We have the Ten of Swords. Oh, they feel as though you betrayed them, Virgo. They feel very betrayed, but they still feel that they're very much in love with you. They still want the kind of love that you give, but your person feels as though you know, they were stabbed in the back by a situation or an action or something that you said, but they're not giving up. Okay, so we have no place like home, five of swords. They really feel, again, swords energy. They feel as though you were really raw with them, that you weren't fair with them in some way. They really feel as though you were not that perhaps they thought you were going to be more stable in the relationship than you were. Again, these are just their thoughts, feelings, and tensions, you know. This is, may or may not be correct. I'm not suggesting that it is, only you will know. The Three of Wands energy means that they want ticky torches, starry nights, adventures, peacefulness, and happiness with you. Um, and so that is the... That's what they're seeking in this reading. So it's definitely not a fling for them. They feel as though it might be a fling for you. They feel as though you might have set them up for a fling and that you had no intention of giving them anything more. And that is heartbreaking to your person. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Okay. So whatever is going on, Virgo, with this person, it does look like the two of you are going to... We have denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So that's a judgment card that I'm seeing. Your person feels as though they're not going to violate boundaries. They definitely feel as though they need to have boundaries in place and that they'll try whatever they try, but if it doesn't work, they will walk away. So it does show that they will detach, you know, even though they're in denial, if this is really what has happened, they, the, your person is really struggling with the fact that you, um, you know, you didn't want them perhaps longing someone is secretly yearning for you. So that is really intense energy, Virgo. Let's see what we have for Island Time Wellness on this relationship. Okay, not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding, avoiding conversation boundaries, still angry. So it does look like there was some sort of conflict or fight in the relationship. It does look like there's a lot of pain. 
uh, between the two of you, you know, maybe you're both really disappointed with each other. It looks like that's very possible. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. So your person really is trying to do that. They assume you're doing the same thing. I think you are. And one more card from Island Time Wellness about this relationship. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. So somebody in the relationship has some sort of problem or something that um, that is not being addressed. So right now I see your person very much invested in this relationship, Virgo. It's going to be a mutual uh, decision as to what the two of you do. So sending you love from Chicago, send some back, tell me where you're from, tell me what you think. Bye-bye, Virgo.